And welcome back to Black News Tonight. DC-based artist Tenbidi Solomon, AKA Trap Bob, has been called the Angela Davis of the art world, frequently using her art to inspire activism and raise awareness about the daily struggles facing her community. And now she's sharing her message across the country as one of five artists chosen to work on the national No, Kill, no Kid Hungry Rebuild campaign to end child hunger in the United States. As part of the initiative, a mural painted by Trap Bob was unveiled earlier today in Washington, D.C. The mural will also be included as part of a micro documentary which covers efforts to feed kids and families in the DMV area during the COVID-19 pandemic. Joining me now to talk about more around the mural unveiling and the National Childhood Hunger Rebuild campaign is the multi-talented artist, the muralist, the activist, and the No Kid Hungry spokesperson, Trap Bob. Welcome to Black News tonight. It's such an honor to have you on the show. Thank you so much, Mark. I'm really happy to be here. Well, talk to me about the unveiling of this mural. What was the process behind all of that? So I was contacted to submit work um, to be considered for the project, and luckily I got chosen to work with them on the rebuilding campaign. Um, from there, we did some documentary style filming. I got to interview different children in the community and um, get to work on the mural. Wow. Uh, how important was it for you to be able to connect with the kids and residents of the DMV area for the project? It's very important. Um, for me and my work, I really try to focus on things that are not only fulfilling to me, but also support my community because I'm so greatly supported by my community. And I really work with the idea that art will save the world. So I always try to support movements that I think are going to be beneficial for everybody. I really think that we're um, better in this together. Wow. Why is art so important for, as you say, saving the world? I think any movement needs art behind it to really inspire people, to give them a visual, you know, we all speak different languages, we have different backgrounds, but we can all look at art and, and get the same message without it having to be vocalized. And I think that that's just a beautiful thing. Well, talk to me about your art, because your murals in particular are just bold, uh, and they seem to be inspired by the struggles of humor. Uh, struggles and humor, rather, of everyday life. Uh, it looks like you're trying to get something in the everyday experience of what it means to be human and what it means to be a particular type of human. Uh, what are you trying to convey in your art? I'm always trying to connect people, and so often I'll use hands as my subject matter because I think we have enough divides between us. I think that we focus enough on our differences and that we'll really be able to benefit each other if we can come together. So my work varies, like you said, from issues that I deal with that I know others can relate to, from being a black woman, being a black person in the community, and also just being a human. You know, I think across the board, we have so many more similarities than we know. And um, I just hope that my work can be a reminder of that and inspire people and, and get them excited for the future. How'd you get started uh, doing this kind of work, but specifically just what inspired you to become an artist? I think it was something that's always been a part of me. My dad is an artist and um, he came here from Ethiopia and kind of raised me as an artist without me realizing it. And so I studied business in college mm -hmm. and still found myself looking for a passion. And so I got back into art just to relieve stress and I found that it was exactly what I wanted to commit my life to. And it really worked out perfectly for me. I think it feels natural and I get to support others. Um, I get to help people bring their vision to life. And that really means a lot to me. Who, who are some of the artists, whether it's in your genre or other artists across the, you know, whether it's visual artists, whatever, who, that inspire you? Um, I would say it varies, but specifically an artist that really got me interested in activism is an artist, Ai Weiwei, who has done things just across the world and has always pushed the envelope. And I, and I love bringing the idea of activism, but also um, not living in fear, really taking chances, really following through with your craft and, um, you know, supporting people at the same time. I just loved that balance and it really inspired me to get involved. How'd you get the name Trap Bob? <laughs> it's a really long story, but it just started as a childhood nickname. Uh, okay, so it's, it's, I didn't know. You know, I, you know, when you hear Trap Bob, I'm think I'm expecting either like maybe 
a white rapper that's like in the hood or maybe somebody <laughs> you know I'm trying to re I'm trying to reconcile these what trap means to me what I think a bob looks like but it definitely wasn't you are people often surprised that you're the trap bob absolutely they often think that I'm a man or I don't know they they have a lot of conceptions about it and I actually love that because I think that we're all you know more than our surface so I like to kind of challenge the expectations that people have of me no, I think that's pretty dope. Well, you're also a spokesperson for No Kid Hungry. How can other people in the community get involved with what you're doing? So they can visit the campaign's website, which is nokidhungry.org, and they can also donate there and dine at the, and shop at the different um, partners that they work with. Um, and on top of that, I just hope that they, you know, will take a second and think about what they can do if, if it's not even, you know, through a certain campaign or whatever it is, there's so many small things in our everyday life that we can do to help each other. And so I hope that this mural and this campaign can remind everyone of that. Wow, what else are you working on? I know outside, I know, uh, No Kid Hungry keeps you busy. I know making great art uh, keeps you busy. What else is going on with you? So I have um, a good handful of murals that I've completed throughout the city. Um, and I'm also gearing up for my first solo gallery show at Mahari Sequoia Gallery in DC. Um, so I'm really excited about that. That's where I'm focused on right now. Well, that's important work. In fact, all the work you're doing is important. We're so grateful that you took some time out of your schedule to hang out with us uh, on Black News tonight. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, be sure to join the conversation. We wanna hear from you. Head over to our BNC Instagram and Twitter pages. Let us know how you feel. Also, visit our website, bnc.tv, and subscribe to our YouTube page to check out clips from the show.